Hello, my name is Anthony Ryan. I'm the Marketing and Sales Director here at Ignatius Press. And I wanted to tell you about a new promotional effort we are doing on the writings of one of our major authors, Adrian von Speyer. This season we released three new second editions of books by or about Adrian. You see them on the screen behind me. They are First Glance at Adrian von Speyer by Hans Urs von Balthasar, her longtime collaborator and spiritual director, which gives a beautiful overview of Adrienne, her life, and her spiritual writings. Then her beautiful book on Our Lady, on the spiritual uh, motherhood of Our Lady, on Mary's holiness, and many other beautiful insights on Our Lady called Handmaid of the Lord. And then the other new second edition is her really in-depth book on the sacrament of confession called Confession. Adrienne von Speyer was born in Switzerland in 1902. She became a medical doctor, a convert to Catholicism, a mystic, and a prolific author of more than 60 books on spirituality, theology, and scripture. She collaborated closely with theologian Father Hans Urs von Balthasar, who was her confessor for 27 years, and together they founded the Community of St. John, a secular institute. Adrienne died in 1967. Her numerous books being published by Ignatius Press are a major contribution to the wisdom of the church. The legacy and the writings of Adrian von Speyer are one of the main reasons that Father Joseph Festio founded Ignatius Press 40 years ago. When Father Festio studied in Europe for about six years when he was a young Jesuit priest to get his doctorate, he was mentored by three of the greatest theologians of the 20th century. The Jesuit Henry de Lubach, Father Joseph Ratzinger, who later became Pope Benedict XVI, and the Swiss theologian, Father Hans Urs von Balthasar. From Balthasar and de Lubach, Father Festio learned about the extraordinary life and the great spiritual legacy of Adrian von Speyer. They strongly encouraged Father Festio to make her writings available in English if possible. So after he returned to America, upon finishing his doctorate, he had a goal to try to raise money to find good translators to make available, among others, the writings of these four great Catholic teachers, Joseph Ratzinger, Henry de Lubach, Hans Urs von Balthasar, and Adrian von Speyer. And by the grace of God and Father Festio's great efforts, supported by a veteran team in Ignatius Press, we have published over 100 books by these four great Catholic writers. Balthasar was so convinced of the crucial importance of the mission and the writings of Adrian von Speyer that he told Father Fessio that if he was only able to publish either his writings or hers, to do von Speyer's writings instead, saying that he thought her work was more important to the church than his own. Adrian von Speyer was raised in a respected, upper-class Protestant Swiss family. She struggled against great obstacles from her family and from tuberculosis as a teenager to attain her career as a physician becoming one of the first female medical doctors in Switzerland. She was a very dedicated and compassionate medical doctor with a full-time practice, and she had a special heart for the poor and the marginalized. She often saw as many as 60 to 80 patients a day, many of them at no charge. Never spiritually or intellectually satisfied as a Protestant, after many years of searching for the fullness of Christian truth, in 1940, Adrian met Father Hans Urs von Balthasar. She discussed with him many questions she had about Catholicism, and Balthasar later helped bring her into full communion with the Roman Catholic Church on All Saints' Day at the age of 39 years old. Adrian rejoiced greatly in finding her true spiritual home. I'm going to join you in reading this next slide behind me here. Adrian had a mysterious spiritual encounter with St. Ignatius when she was only six years old. Later in her teens, she had a vision of the Mother of God. These, encouraged, these encounters helped shape the foundations of her spirituality as being very Ignatian and very Marian. Later, as an adult, Adrian experienced a vision of a bright white light and a voice saying, You will live in heaven and on earth. Through the years, she would experience numerous mystical encounters. However, not even her closest family members knew of her mystical life. 
From these mystical experiences, she gained great wisdom to write all her profound spiritual works. After her death, St. John Paul II, a great admirer of Adrian, asked von Balthasar to organize a scholarly conference in her honor. The Holy Father personally addressed the conference himself, strongly encouraging the attendees to learn from the pro profound spirituality of Adrian von Speyer. Among her other well-known admirers and readers besides John Paul II was the great British poet T.S. Eliot who stated after reading her commentaries on St. John's Gospel, quote, I find myself strengthened and exhilarated by a new experience of Christian sensibility. In America, there is a growing movement of strong interest in her legacy and writings from priests, religious, and laity. And some of her greatest admirers include the acclaimed teacher, writer, and filmmaker, Bishop Robert Barron, popular pastor and author, Father John Ricardo, and the beloved priest and writer, Father Donald Calloway. I'm going to close my remarks about Adrienne von Speyer with these beautiful words from Father Calloway about her. Quote, Adrienne von Speyer is one of the greatest mystics of the 20th century. Her insights into the Bible offer a treasure trove of wisdom in an age of rabid historical criticism, and her Trinitarian and Marian approach to theological topics counters the spirit of modernism that plagues our times. I want to thank you for joining me to learn more about Adrian von Speyer. Please be sure to go to the Ignatius Press website to see all 30 titles that we have published by Adrian and also to learn more about her legacy and her profound spiritual insights. That website is Ignatius.com. Thank you very much.